Yo, cut. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Mystic. Back at it again with another video. Today, I'm gonna be talking about this shell ejecting Lego revolver six shooter. So, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so basically it's a six shooter revolver with a wheel on it to put the ammo in. And how you put them in is you don't want to tilt it back because they'll fall out, but basically just pull the hammer back and you load these shells that you have to make out of one two stud red or black whatever and then uh half a stud little cap on it and then you can load your shells into the gun and then once they're all loaded it should look like this Kind of like a cap gun. And then I'm gonna shoot at this pumpkin. So that was weird. Just a misfire. Okay, so there's one shot. It kind of shot my own hand. That was really weird. And all my shells are falling out. I have to put them back in. Okay. Okay, sometimes it misfires when there's shells on the bottom because they stick out so much. But so I think I found a problem. I never shot this gun, so I think I'm not going to be able to do shell ejecting unless it's single shot. Then it, oh, what? That shell's made it completely wrong. What the heck? Okay. So it's not, we can't really do a shell ejecting because the shells stick out so much. But, what I can do is use a different kind of ammo. And so I'll just be using these things right here. And you just put them in the front like that until they click. They won't fall out anyway. And then you pew. They shoot really hard. So you can put all six of them in and then have a fun little shooty out thingy with your friends. It does hurt when I just shot myself in the hand, but boom, 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 boom. It's very reliable. It's not just going to freaking explode on you. And it's really compact. It's fully Technic, which is nice. I don't really ever make fully Technic guns. But I know some people just like to build them out of Technic. So, yeah, here's a look at the mechanism. Trigger clicks on each stud, and then when you pull the trigger, pew! And I made this thing turn by, it's basically two of these things. And then you um, have a rod through them with this thing so it can still spin because they're not crossed. So, yep, and that's my video on this. I'll be making a tutorial, so if you want to watch that tutorial, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!